out on YouTube. So I'm sure this is the video everyone was waiting on. And this video will be a brief description of YouTube. So this is a video I'm sure everyone was waiting on and how I got paid on YouTube and how you, in fact, yeah, you, and you that's sitting outside of you can get paid on YouTube also. There are some tactics that I've studied over the years of, you know, YouTubing, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly step by step on how to do it. So without further ado, So it's on YouTube, back again with another video, and this one will be on how to get paid on YouTube. Yes, I said it, how to get paid on YouTube. A lot of people really wanna know this and how I actually got paid on YouTube back in like 2015 for my hat. So I'm gonna show people how they can do it and not typically just on hair, because a lot of YouTubers get paid just by doing stuff that they like. And hair was typically the thing that I like at the time. I'm growing it back, by the way. So yeah, without further ado, I will tell you step by step on how exactly to get paid on YouTube. So yeah, let's roll. So step one, you will need to find the right content for your channel. I wouldn't recommend you to stick typically to what you've already been doing. like. I would say kind of switch it up so you know people have other stuff to watch on your channel not just mainly that one thing but if you know that you can make that main one thing stretch all the way to the end then by all means do you but me i like to switch it up so when i first started i used my hair as the you know the first beginning of my channel my hair was not normal so yeah it was flat iron i you know made it curly, I dyed it multiple colors, I did all kind of stuff I could think of in a book for my hair. And I'm gonna leave like a link, it's gonna be like somewhere right here for my hair video, okay? So y'all can check that out and see exactly what it was that made people wanna go crazy behind these videos. I had like maybe 300,000, I got like 300,000 on that video right now. And I got like a couple other ones with 100,000. But, um. That's the first step of this process is to pick exact pick the exact topic you want to be your channel on what you want the channel to be on. Yeah. <laughs> step two. Alright. Come up with a good catchy title. Something easy for people to search on the internet. Like on YouTube. Like easy. Like uh if you wanna do like eating crickets. Like you would just, oh, well, that's easy. You know, not too many people like can search that any kind of other way, but eating crickets. Um, but make sure it just is easy to type or search up on YouTube. Because the search engine, when you search on YouTube, it'll have like all kinds of suggested things that you're trying to type in. And you know, that typically will be the easiest route for y'all to get your videos to be seen. Because to, in order to get paid on YouTube, it's the technical term is called monetization. And you would have to have 400, no, 4,000 watch time minutes and 1,000 subs. It's not really that hard to get to, honestly, like I said, because without having no one to help me, without having no one to promote none of that stuff, that video that I did, Pope, like, just gave me everything I needed at the time. So. Just like I said, keep in mind, like, you got two steps right now. Good title and a good topic of to what you're trying to do with your channel. All right, and step three. This one is the most vitalist thing ever when it comes to a video. Your, dang, what did you call it? What do you call that? Um, it's like the little screen that you have that's like on the video, like the cover. That's what I'm trying to say, the cover. Make sure your cover is something worthy of clicking on. I cannot stress that enough. If you are doing something like anything absurd, anything that makes sense, anything, make sure you have your cover vivid, edited. It don't matter as long as it's like a good piece of something that's giving somebody a reason to lean towards watching that video. Uh, for my haircut video, I cut my dreads off last year. 
I had a picture of my dreads, honestly. And I know a lot of people wanna see like, oh, he don't have dreads, I'm getting my hair cut. I usually use the, I mean, I, I could have made it better and just use half of the parts of me having dreads and then the other half of the picture of me when I got a haircut for the before and after. A lot of people would love to see that transition, you feel me? So just make sure when you use your cover photo, cause you can use one in your photo library you can use one, like you could just take like a little screenshot of the video and put it on that. A lot of people like to edit theirs. Sometimes I'll edit mine, it's not really because I don't got time for that. So just make sure that is something somebody wants to click on. I promise you, you're gonna get that if you do that step perfect. All right, and step four, your description. Make sure your description is well worded, it makes sense. It's giving people a reason to subscribe to your channel. It's giving people a reason to like your videos on your channel. It's gonna give people all the information they need about that video, okay? And you will have like links that you will put in your description for the music, for the items that you use, and what you're gonna probably do next. It's just, it's just a description, honestly. Um, it's not the most vilest part ever. I mean, a lot of people do not look at descriptions. Some people do, some people don't. It's not really that mandatory, but if you do that, then I guess that would kind of help maybe sort of, sort of, kind of, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Step five, your tags. When you finish making your video, those tags that you can put on your video, use those things. If you have any idea of how useful a tag is then it's just crazy those tags will help the search engine find your video being that the title is what it is you use your tag and it'll just help youtube find your video to pop up on the, the section which your main idea is to get views and everything is is to make sure your video can pop up on the search engine if somebody search long hair and you be in that category of long hair whenever you do the search bar for males or females it don't matter or how to do hair care wake up morning routine and stuff like that because i know it's kind of harder to get your video to pop up in that section because of other subscribers that people have and likes and views already so if you can manage to use your tags in the right way and there are different apps that you can use to search tags relating to your video or just use some of the, pop the popular tags in that category of what you're using. Um, so yeah, if you're doing like, um, I don't know, a morning routine, you would hashtag morning routine 2019, you'll do 2019 as a hashtag, you'll do hair care, all that other stuff to get all of that into being able to research stuff on YouTube, okay? That's just gonna help way, way, way more than what you think it's gonna do. Step six. If you have any friends that have a, you know, standing on like promotion or any friends or of any sort, get them to share your video. It don't hurt. You can do a share for share from YouTube videos. Make sure that they are doing it like with a link. Make sure you can share your video on your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. It doesn't matter. Make sure you provide a link. Make sure you tell them to check out your video because a lot of people just see a link and don't even click on it. They don't know who it's for and if you see it. Uh, if you can get that to happen, then that'll be worth you, that'll be worth your time in the long run doing this. Um, a lot of people like to use Instagram promotion, there's Facebook promotion, there's YouTube. You can promote your videos on YouTube. Um, it's paid, but like I said, it depends on how it goes hand in hand. If you do the Instagram, um, if you do an Instagram promotion, they will have a way you can get people to click on your link in your bio. Oh, and make sure you put your link in your bio too. Because a lot of people like to click on links in people's bio to see, you know, what they're hitting on. <laughs> so yeah, follow stuff. And alright. 
you are on your way to making the best YouTube experience you can possibly make as far as the start of program of getting paid on YouTube. If you follow those steps are So now that you got the step that you need for a basic tutorial of how to get paid on YouTube, these should help you in the long run. And currently, if you are like making a good amount of YouTube videos and you're doing just right on those steps like you're supposed to be doing, you should see an increase on your YouTube channel in no time. I promise you it works. It really does work. Just make sure you have like this kind of crazy, like if you get the picture or cover and it's worthy of getting clicked on by just a random person that just goes on YouTube to see anything, it'll work. And make sure you can make it a good, like make it like a good length of a video, not long, long, but like maybe like five, six minutes to get your watch time in itself because that's what you really need to get paid on YouTube, your watch time and your subscribers. A thousand subscribers, kind of not that hard to get to, honestly, but if you feel like you can get there, get there. Um, just like I said, promote your videos. I mean, it takes money to make money, so if you need to promote your videos and pay for them on Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook, do your thing. Nobody's mad at you, but in the long run, you're gonna get a subscriber. So the subscriber, fan base, and I'm gonna probably die hard. A fan base is what you really need. Cause they're ride or die, you hear me? So yeah, check back on me in the next video to see how this is going. So boom.